Bernie who lives in Essex sent me a post on Facebook yesterday morning saying, Jer, you're very mean with clues for the mystery voice. I'm losing the will at this stage. Stay with it, Bernie. Stay with it. I'm going to give you more clues today. I'm struggling here. The only thing I can't do is give you his name. You can hear him in a second, all right? Let me tell you. Firstly, you're very welcome to GSFM. It's Friday, so we go. <laughs> ah, the weekend at long, long last. 13th of May, lucky for some. Yeah. 1821 on this day, the first practical printing press was patented in the US by Samuel Rust. Yeah, that was his name. 1913, Igor Sikorsky flew the first four engine aircraft. In 1917, Three peasant children near Fatima in Portugal reported seeing a vision of the Virgin Mary. 1955, Elvis Presley's performance at Jacksonville in Florida became the first Presley show at which a riot ensued. 1958, Jerry Lee Lewis was granted a divorce from his second wife. What's so special about that? Well, he got the divorce from his second wife six months after he married his third wife, Myra kind of unusual. In 1981 on this day, Pope John Paul II was shot and seriously wounded in St. Peter's Square in Rome. So there we go. Some of the happenings down through the years on this day. Two GSFM friends celebrate birthdays today. Declan Honan. Declan, a very happy birthday to you. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day with not too many candles on the birthday cake. Ross O'Donoghue, I think, has about 30. So Ross, a very happy birthday to you. On this, the 13th of May as well. You share your birthday with Harvey Keitel, who was born in 1939. Richie Valance was born in 1941. Mary Wells, the singer, 1943. And Steve Lund Morris, otherwise known as... That's right, Stevie Wonder. He was born on this day in 1950. The secret to a long life. Uh, free beer and, and women. That's what that man says. Clues, let me see. He is going to be 62 in 2011. Okay. 62 years old this year. Uh, free beer and, and women. And some people have often said that he's ever so slightly batty. Any ideas? Uh, free beer and, and women. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. Our useless fact for today. Did you know that Ringo Starr appeared in a Japanese advertisement for applesauce? Now, this is where things get unbelievable because apparently and ironically, his name means applesauce in Japanese. How useless is that fact? But I bet you you'll use it. I bet you you will. Tomorrow, find out who was offered the presidency of Israel back in the 1950s. Please, you take the presidency. No, 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 no. Please take. No, no, no. Hey, please. No, no. Anyway, that's all happening on tomorrow's program, Saturdays. As if today's wasn't exciting enough. Look forward to your company. Have a super Friday. Get the weekend off to a good old start. And we look forward to your company tomorrow from me, Jerry Sweeney, and everybody here at International Headquarters. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Have a super day. Bye bye now.